So how's it going guys? Um, this is State of Play. I actually missed um, the last one, which I apologize for. Um, the mic should be working now. So that's good. That's hurt to turn up my headphones. I won't really affect the stream, with the exception of you seeing that in the left, top left corner. All right. Stay to play. I know you wish things. Were yes. Different. So I think this was twenty-five minutes long. They said. I wish that were different. Ellie! I've seen this before, right? But they ain't. Oh no, this part's new. Okay. Please stop! Sony Interactive Entertainment presents Naughty Dog The Last of Us Part 2. Almost said The Last of Us 2 Part 2. I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You can't stop this. I won't. could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Alright. And that, that that's it, guys. That's the end of the, the direct, the stream. Stay plays I'm over. Druckmann, Vice President of Naughty Dog and the Director of The Last of Us Part 2. We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, nice. when the game will finally be in your hands. The wait has been long, and we're extremely yeah, grateful. I don't even think it's like a full 21 days. Especially now, in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves, and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today, we're trying something different. Something we've never done before. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part 2, including new details about the gameplay experience and story. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never-before-seen, lengthy gameplay sequence. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. <coughs> kill a killer. The Last of Us Part 2 picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of 1 to 10, 
how would you rate our kiss from last night? However, this peace is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country previously unexplored in The Last of Us. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high rises hmm. to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical oh, nice. or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narratives. Do you want to see? Oh, not 60 These FPS. More open environments also create nah. new strategic considerations in combat, whether it's to get the jump on enemies or by Well, it's entirely. technically less than 30, I guess. But... The Last of Us Part Two features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Horseback riding will allow Ellie to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Some streets are so flooded that a boat is required to navigate them. <coughs> However, the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged her, she must face... Hey! Oh nice, you got your Vita? City. What's going on, Lava? Oh, what was... In the wake oh, that's of the dog. pandemic that was a the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war zone where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, we got another trespasser. A girl. Did you see her? No, because they're blind. On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the Seraphites, or Scars, defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Clip her wings. <laughs> but beyond this conflict among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. Oh boy, not good. Those aren't loaders, are they? No, I don't think so. Runners Those, well, some of them might be loaders. Or is, are they bloaters? Yeah, I think it was a bloater. Blind, but extremely deadly clicker. Players, it's a clicker. And the stalkers, who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme oh, agility stalkers this time? and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part Two introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, heavily <coughs> armored Shandler. enemies that are covered in pustule. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud that burns its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. Overcoming these threats will require careful consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, oh, it's a and dog. environment to your advantage. 
The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you, even while in cover. You think this guy's connected to the they can pick up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving and cause distractions to avoid detection. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover you, even in grass. When Ellie is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. You can also break class or crawl through tight spaces to find new paths or areas to evade oh, nice. or take on your enemies. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and re-establish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with different weapons <coughs> and mastering the timing of your dodges will prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counterattack. Now that you can use throwable items sword or, well or whatever would be stun enemies bloodier than that. A killing blow. Or using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, <coughs> spot enemies, and meaningfully help you in combat and <coughs> It's me. It's, it's Gwyn from The Walking Dead. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Flee as they fight, or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. Our goal is to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems that give you greater control and influence over your journey. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. These skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new workbench system. Scavenge for parts to modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized and become part of your character. Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines, explosive arrows, pistol suppressors, oh, and more. Suppressor, nice. Tranquilizer, I guess. I don't think the first one had that. Maybe the remaster. Uh, I don't think it did, though. Shoot her in the head. Whoever, him, her, whoever that is. All of these gameplay systems are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. Until then, here's the 19th, I thought it was the 18th. Oh, whatever. Gameplay. Enjoy. Yes. 
18 minutes, I think he said. Okay, the frame rate seems to be a little, it's not 60, but it looks more natural. Nah, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I mean, it looked fine before, it just wasn't like, I wouldn't want to play the game with, I don't know if I'll play at 60 FPS, if it's at least 30 FPS, I'll tolerate that. Don't be like Death Stranding though, Death Stranding didn't have very good frame rate. Well, too bad for Isaac. Escape. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, she can swim now? She couldn't swim before. I thought she couldn't swim. I mean, maybe she learned how. Or is that just something that they for the development team forgot? I don't know. She probably learned how or something. So this is five years after The Last of Us 1. Probably. Because she was 14 in that game. She's 19 here, I think. <laughs> she has a Vita. Lava, look at that. Where is she? In the hospital. Where in the hospital? But they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. What the hell? Oh, you're not gonna get to finish the game now. That was dumb. It was dumb. Is that what she said? That's it. <laughs> I kind of, I like that. Take the Vita. Take the PlayStation Vita. <laughs> that was funny. Heard Ellie make noise. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. EMS. What I heard. All right. Calm down. What? Aw, poor dog.
pretty intense. Wait. Why was it, it like circling around the triangle button? I don't know. Damn it! Find another way up. Be any louder? The fuck was Abby here? I'm not stupid. You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora. I'm not going down for her, man. Don't scream. Where does she go? You remember me? Wait. You remember me. Wait, wait, was that, um, her friend from the first game that was in the DLC? I think it was. Alright, June 19th. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was the 18th. Does anything come out on the 18th? I don't know. State of play. Is that it? Alright. So they captured that on the PS4 Pro. Alright, well, I mean, it's still pretty good. It was kind of... I wish it was a little longer, but... They may have said 8 minutes. No, that was pretty long, though. The, the gameplay, I mean... I mean, if you compare it to a YouTube video. Um... But uh, yeah, I like that. I don't know if this is it supposed to be a black screen. A screen? What's a screen? screen? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Um, that was a good live stream or premiere, but on Twitch it was a stream. Anyway, um, I like that. I thought that was a uh, decent. Make this bigger. Um, wouldn't know what you guys thought of it. Um, let me know if you thought this was good. I. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of things they could actually improve, but I mean, hopefully the frame rate is going to be better. I don't know if it's going to be at 60 FPS, but if they could at least, you know, get it to 30 most of the time, and it's stable. I think that, you know, if they want to do PS5, when they, I'm assuming they're going to put this on PS5 at a later time, maybe, okay, then maybe they could make it where it runs better. But, yeah, I thought the PlayStation Vita part, I thought it was a PSP at first, but I think it was a Vita. Um, it kind of looks similar, especially um, with how the camera was. But yeah, that was uh, pretty interesting. I thought it was kind of funny. Didn't expect that. I thought Sony wanted to forget about the Vita. Could that be a hint that there's going to be a new handheld? I don't think there will be. I don't think it's a hint. I think it was just a funny reference that they put in there. Um, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to end this here. I'm going to be streaming later tonight. More Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Syndicate. Excuse me. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Anyway, I've been your host. And I will see you guys next time.